on the question. Paper, scissors, shoot. What's your song? I don't know. But Chaz was killing us when he said that they're taking the groundsman out to yeah. sweep. And he was just one guy <laughs> with just just four, four, four. Four. <laughs> trying to get rid of this one area of the pitch. And we were like, oh, come on. Uh, there was no chance with no. that. Like, no. It's gutting, though, isn't it? Like, when yeah. you, like, you have all that preparation. Before I had to go out, I used to have to drench my boots in that water. So welcome back to Life of a Kitman, first episode with a guest this season. Dan Kemp is our guest, new sign-in online from MK Dons. Um, been an absolute joy since he's been here. First thing we're going to do, straight into the fiver side as always. I've missed this a lot. So wow. Kempy, there's your board. There's your pen, don't click it like Willow did. <laughs> Use your counters, lovely job, here we right. go. So put him there he's playing quite high he's high yeah very that. high he's almost like a do you want me to hold it yeah you hold it almost like a bit of a sweeper I'm going to need your help I've played with him but his spelling's a bit difficult go Lawrence on. Vigaru ah oh, quite a shirt V, v wait a minute I <laughs> there you go Viggs yeah there we go v just I. put Viggs I'll put Viggs there you go yeah. we know then yeah no um, a brilliant keeper um, played with him at Orient obviously he's got an unbelievable move to Burnley oh. which is fully mm -hmm. deserved. How good is he with his feet? Oh, he's a different class. So I think in the five side he'd be Decent. key for a goalie that's not only Decent. good shot stopper good with his feet. Then I'll back? go like a little then I'll go one, two, one. But I'll leave enough room to write the name. Tell you what, he's up front so that's yeah. Bosh him up there. It's a bit expansive. <laughs> hey don't worry about it, it's five side. And then I've well, for the you're left handed. Yeah. Me. I've gone for Reese James. Um, I think it says, it says itself says really. Itself. Unbelievable defender. And then I'll go for uh, Declan Rice. He's not bad I mean, either. This is right up there already. Um, <laughs> and then another one of my good mates, Mason Mount. This is a joke. <laughs> and then I've gone for the main man. The main man? Yeah, the main man. The big dog, Charlie Austin, again. Don't really need to say a lot. We'll definitely about that get one. some goals in that team, wouldn't it? I mean, I had a chat with you off camera. I'm not really sure there's too many five sides that's coming up against my team and <laughs> coming away with anything other than zero points. In all honesty, we spoke about Chaz's team, we spoke about yeah. Willow's team. That's like arguably. Yeah, we're going through them early and going, like, is they going to be beaten this year? And when we go through them at the end of the season, this could be. One of, one of them, the yeah. best. I think anywhere on a Tuesday night, even on a Saturday, you know. Yeah. Got some we, characters. We're taking there. three points there. Yeah, obviously we had we had Vic here to start with. Um, he's a little bit younger then. Um, he's a bit crazy then. Yeah, he's a bit crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I think he'd um, hopefully admit that. Yeah, well, he, yeah, does, yeah. he, he, he does, will yeah. admit that. Um, but yeah, the last couple of years, I think he won player of the year the last two years two at Warwick. Yeah. Um, and then obviously, yeah, he's just got his move now. So. How good is he with his feet? Oh, it's yeah. unbelievable. Like, he's a joke. It's literally like having another outfield. Yeah. He could play centre mid. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's brilliant. Absolutely. And then and obviously, goals galore. Yeah, goals yeah. galore. Yeah. There. Hopefully, this season goals galore. Yeah, he's just yeah. got an unbelievable move. Just feeding move him, well. deck chipping him with the other end, solid. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think worth a bit of money good. this summer, yeah. that team, isn't it? In the it's midfield. <laughs> I'm going to leave that there for the whole thing, unless, <laughs> unless Matt says that's too glary. Yeah, it's a bit, right, we'll move that then, but incredible. Um, there's a little bit of a story about Kempe's five aside. So we always oh, do a little die. bit of uh, prep. So as, as off the cuff as this looks, it, it's not that off the cuff. Um, so I sent a message out the night before. The only prep we need you to do is come up with a five aside team a gaffer that you've worked under or whatever and then a kit that you which want which we didn't the team do by be, the way which we haven't done which <laughs> we'll do kit. in a minute and kit um and so this morning Kempi comes in he's like my five side team is unbelievable <laughs> and I'm like okay cool that's decent then then from nowhere I hear this rumbling that he's got Aguero <laughs> he's got Edison in goal basically he thought <laughs> yeah we meant anyone. Yeah. Just pick a five aside team from any players anywhere. When I went into the changing room this morning and Jake Young come in, because obviously yeah. you're staying. Oh, with... well, me and Young were driving in yeah. this morning and I'm picking that team. He, he was like, and just... he's going, that's unbelievable. Like you, and then he's, and then he like, it's dawned on me like, 
Oh, maybe I've got it a bit wrong. But then you said played with. So imagine you've had me off here and yeah. I've put Teguero, <laughs> Messi, Hazard. <laughs> oh yeah, when did you play with Mbappé? <laughs> That's yeah. what. So basically. I was like, we can't let him do that. That's way off it. Like, that's well, he was, awful. You, yeah, I was. But they were both going to. Yeah, so, so then he's like, oh well, no, we we need to let's just do it, and it'll be hilarious. And then halfway through, we can be like, well, when did you play with him? And when did you play with <laughs> well, him? We sat having like, lunch, yeah. and you were going through some of the players that you'd have in it. I, I couldn't hold it. It's when he asked me, do they have to still be playing now? <laughs> And I'm going. I had Rio at the back as well. Oh, like, he had Rio at the back. He had Guerrero at front. He had Iniesta <laughs> at one point. <laughs> And I just like I couldn't do it, and then he sat there laughing, and he's just I couldn't hold shouting it. at me across the room. I can't do it. I can't yeah. do it. <laughs> but that would have been the right stitch up. But yeah. but uh, to be fair, I'm quite happy with that. Oh, I don't think couldn't have done much. It's incredible. What you do need to do, as Jonas just said, pick a gaffer. A gaffer that you've worked under. Okay. Um, and then a kit from your career that you've enjoyed. Gaffer. Um, I'd probably say, well, I didn't necessarily... You can have a manager and an assistant. Yeah, I didn't necessarily play as much as I would have liked, but I learned quite a lot of um, Neil Critchley. Oh, okay. Blackpool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so... Um, I learned a lot, of, a lot of him, and I was only 19 at the time, so yeah. it was my... I'd say my first proper loan. Were you there with 80? Yeah. yeah, yeah. He's obviously just gone back there now, yeah. and he's this season. Yeah, he's, he's tactically he's brilliant. Um, I learnt a lot, lot of him. Um, kit, kit. What kits? Uh, this year's <laughs> away. I do. I, I've had Orient obviously as a red. Of like, I like yeah. this win red. Um, yeah, Chelsea one, West Ham one. What was that? Probably one, probably a Chelsea one. Chelsea one. Chelsea one, but when I was younger. Cool. So I just put that Chelsea youth team kit, maybe. Yeah. I mean. YT. Any one of them, the blue was nice, always. Yeah. It was home kit, Chelsea yeah. blue. Was They've nice. always had nice kits, haven't they? So. Incredible. Um, so having said all of that, uh, let's move away from that for a minute and discuss the game that happened that never happened. <laughs> yeah. So obviously we get to the ground early doors. We were there yeah. at what? We got there proper 10? early to, to be fair. We got there about half 10. Um, we unloaded the van, obviously set the change room up. Got your wellies out. Got our wellies out. At this point, like, it was raining, but we didn't really think too much of it. Um, and we took a few of like, the cones and that out to the pitch. And then we've walked, to, we've, like, walked on like, the technical area. And we're like, oh, it's a bit wet here. A bit soft. And we, just, we went back inside for a bit, come back, come back out. It was still tipping down. Anyway, we went and set the warm up up. I put like, a cone in the corner, and I'm like, "Why is the cone floating? <laughs> What's going on here?" And we, it was just flooded. We were like, "Let's get a ball and just chuck it in the air." We chuck the groundsman was going mad. To be fair, wasn't yeah, he? Wasn't <laughs> he was looking at us. So we chucked the ball in the air, and it just it splashed. just splashed when it. Hit the we floor thought, "Oh, we like, it should like it'd be fine." Like they well, must. We, obviously, we saw the rain coming into yeah. the yeah. ground, and we were yeah. like, "Oh, like been a bit yeah. of a rubbish day, but should be all right." We got out to the pitch and. Like it was like flooded. flooded. I've never seen anything. The outsides were yeah. really bad, so we were like, "Oh, the middle's all right." Mm. Um, started getting changed. Thought it was. I kept saying it like to you, didn't yeah, I? Yeah, like, yeah. You you, think, you there feel... was a point where I'm stood outside the change room and Kempy's in yeah. down the corridor. and He's looking at me, going, "Is it all right?" Yeah. And I'm like, "Yeah, it'd be fine, mate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <And then we're> fine." <laughs> I'm getting changed. I've got all my like stuff. I'm ready, like yeah. in the zone, ready to go out. I look outside, and honestly, it's like a monsoon outside. Yeah. And I'm thinking... The thing is, though, like, from a player it. perspective and, like, even, like, like, all the staff, we had to just prepare as if... Yeah. As if like, we, we, we were bringing Domino's ordering yeah. the food for after We had already like, ordered the food for just half so past five. So yeah, we prepared. I mean, that was no good. You just can't afford to have one yeah. moment of doubt of if it's not going to be yeah, on. You exactly. just have to stay in that... Until it's zone. off. you yeah, just got to keep exactly. preparing. As if and then, obviously, we went out for the Walmart. Yeah. And it was like, we should have had our flippers rather than our boots on. Like, it was so wet. When I walked out and you lot were like, just doing your little pass yeah. in that, and I'm just the, the ball, ball was, moving. wasn't just, moving anywhere. Yeah. And then we, the ref was still adamant that I oh, will give it the best chance. And we were like, "There's no way." Yeah, I've never seen anything like no. that. The only time in this job is when we went to an Orient on a Tuesday night. Yeah, and that was really. And we bad. got there at like four-ish, and it was raining hard, and we thought, "Oh, it could be in trouble." But, but that, see, that night the ref was doing laps of the mm. pitch mm. consistently yeah. mm. to make sure it was all good. Talking to the groundsman, making yeah. it sorted. 
And then he said, do you remember Chaz was killing us when he said that they'd taken the groundsman out to yeah. sweep? And he was just one guy <laughs> with <laughs> <two> <laughs> four, four, four. <laughs> trying to get rid of this one area of the pitch. And we were like, oh, come uh, on. There was like. no chance, was no. there? Like, no. It's no. gutting, though, isn't it? Like, when yeah. you, like, you have all that preparation. You know, it's, it's four weeks of like pre-season mm. and stuff. It's so that first yeah. game buzz and then to, to, to be called to off as well. that late. You know, if he's called in off a bit a day before, it's still yeah. massively disappointing, but... Yeah. For it to be called off like what? After you were all out. Half so, hour before. So from our point of view, we had done all the prep as we normally would. Yeah. Yeah. And then you went out to warm up. So everything our had been was warm, no was soaking wet. Yeah. Was So we still had to do everything as if the game had happened. Yeah. Whereas nothing had happened. So all that, all that happened for us was we were two hours yeah. earlier finishing than we would have been. Yeah, definitely. But we still had all the work to do to get prepared for Monday's yeah. training. Yeah. Like, yeah, mad. Might be nice to have the first league game at home, to be fair. And there'll yeah. be a lot of fans here because they'll all be itching to be here now. Yeah. Um, yeah. It looked yeah. like we were going to have a good number on Saturday, which was frustrating because they looked like they were going to be right behind us and we won't have that many there on a Tuesday night now. No. But, but it was good. There was a bit of fun. Yeah, it was nice at the end. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, I had a little thing. Right, that was so, brilliant. so basically, while it's going on and all the rain's coming down, I'm like, right. If we come back out to warm up, it needs to be set up as yeah. if it was. So I've gone out to set up and the monsoon's got heavier and I am soaked. Mm. And fans start shouting, Hooper, sort it out. Hooper, yeah. Hooper, sort it out. And I'm like, oh, God. And then they're like, where's Jonah? I was like, over there, hiding from the rain. Mm. And then obviously at the end, when all the boys come over to clap, Jonah comes I mean, as well. You, and you then... bottled the knee slide. Yeah. Or the, we nah. were asking for a knee yeah, slide. Yeah. Could have done, like, you could have done a belly slide or something. You know I mean? He nearly bottled the singing unless yeah, Fraser nah, had I would, grabbed I would, him and I shoved him forward. I wouldn't have bottled that. I just didn't fancy a knee well. slide. I, to be fair, I probably should have. I was wet enough anyway. Yeah. And, but, and, so. and it made Sky Sports. So. Yeah. yeah, and then we yeah. went in the change room and Doke was singing. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was brilliant. Yeah. He was incredible, wasn't he? Incredible. If you haven't seen it, look on our TikTok. Don't look anywhere else. It's everywhere else. Don't look anywhere else. Just go on our TikTok and you'll see the one from his initiation rather than the change room one. Slightly different. I tell it's you the what, the standards are unbelievable. Night before, what, are, initiations. initiations are never going to be the same no, again in this. No. Everyone I mean, now cool. is going to be rubbish. I'd like yeah. to say I set the tone because I went first. Unfortunately, but we didn't see it. But we the level see it. massively dropped after, uh, after, massively got better, sorry, yeah. after my say. one. But um, <laughs> no, but yeah, no, that was brilliant. That's probably the best best set of initiations I've ever had in my life. We missed it, unfortunately, because we were beyond you. Liam Gonzalez was brilliant. Was he? Dotes was Obviously, everyone's seen that. Yeah. Even to be like, fair, someone told me Kins was brilliant. Yeah. And then... Yeah, it was a real shame because he was like unbelievable. Mm. And then we were like all so excited. And then we were like, oh, who's going to follow that? Do you know what I mean? And then <laughs> Dokes got up, up and we were like, oh my God. And it turns out he is John Legend. Yeah, he yeah. literally is. <laughs> unbelievable. So. Or as the advertiser said, John Lennon. Yeah. <laughs> well done. I feel like <laughs> but no, that was brilliant. Yeah. But there you go. So how did your move come about to Swindon? What happened? Um, well, it was... I think it was something that I had interest from the start um, was by speaking to my agent and staff and then as it got more and more apparent and there was proper strong interest from Swindon, it was a real big thing for me really because I just wanted to go somewhere I was wanted. Um, I had a few off of the back of doing relatively well last season at Hartlepool, I had quite a few options but um, once I heard of Swindon, it was a massive, massive uh, factor of me joining the manager was a big part also. Um, I've come up, up against Swindon loads of times across my career and always thought it's a great club with great supporters, um, always playing a nice brand of football, which was really exciting for me. I thought, me, myself, you probably got to know me a bit as a as a player, but also as a person. And I think this is a perfect fit for me right, mm. right now mm. in my career. Um, and once I spoke to the gaffer, you know, what a great character he is, first of yeah. but also, obviously, what a what a great manager he is. Um, he expressed his um, way way forward for the club and how he sees me fitting in, and it was just so positive. And I just wanted to get it done as soon as uh, as soon as I got off the phone with him. So, no, I'm gr really grateful to be here, and I'm sure it's going to be a great season. Yeah. How did you find pre-season? What did it? What was it compared to the first? How many weeks did you do at MK? So, um, I did about three weeks yeah. at MK, and I think I came midway through yeah. the third or fourth week here. Um, it was really tough, to be fair, yeah. really tough. Because um, the lads did a lot of running here yeah. that first couple of weeks, yeah, so you yeah, missed I think, that. I think, it, I think pre-season's always a really tough yeah. period. We all know that as players, but um, I had an equally tough pre-season at MK, mm. and I know from speaking to the lads, they found it really hard here. But I think you all know you put the work in, you're going to get the rewards, and 
Exactly. Even from the pre-season games we've been involved in, hopefully that fitness is there yeah. for everyone to see and the way the manager wants us to play, you know, that aggressive, man, almost man-for-man man at time press. Yeah. You've got to be fit and mm. um, be able to do that. So we're only going to see the benefits. And of we it. had some good performances, to be fair, didn't yeah. we? Yeah. So obviously we had Swansea, like really good 60 minutes, and we mm. had Bristol, played really well and competed well. Eastley, really good as well. And then obviously the Plymouth game, when you scored that, yeah. Worldy. Yeah. How, how did um, we had worked on that a bit in training, yeah, didn't yeah. we? So it no, was nice that that come off. Yeah, Hats is brilliant. And yeah. That, um, um, I think it could be a big weapon for mm. us, our set pieces this season. Yeah. So because we, so, we've never seen it. Because like we were saying, we actually missed your goal. Yeah. Sorry, mate. Uh, we we <laughs> we, were, we were still cleaning up in here, um, and we come out and we're like, oh, what happened? We, and ba Bailey didn't he? He said yeah. we scored from a set piece. We were like, we were like, what happened? Yeah. And he was yeah. like, oh, he put it there, and then he. And I was like, yeah, we literally cannot remember before that the last set piece we scored. Because I think even we've never been the biggest like no. team Swindon, so we don't we really rarely don't score. Need to be, though, don't it? No, the way yeah, no, you don't need to. If be. You I get it right. It's just an right. extra weapon to yeah. have yeah. in it. Like. And there is different ways of having set pieces where without just looping yeah, it in the yeah, box, it's so. being a bit more clever and yeah, yeah. It was, using what like we, you've got to your advantage. Sort of, yeah, so. it was nice to see that. Yeah, yeah really good. Um, so going back to the start for you Chelsea to start yeah, with yeah yeah so I started there when I was eight um, I started training there when I was seven years old and um, I signed like there as a nine-year-old um, it was amazing really I spent I think it was best part of just over 10 years yeah. up until the se uh, age of 17 in my scholarship yeah. and I don't think I think I feel so lucky and fortunate f uh, to be there as a young player I think there's not much better grounding and development side as a footballer of being at an academy like that so that was unbelievable and then um, I left to uh, sign a professional at West Ham um, at 17 so oh, yeah. I signed my first professional contract there that was like, a really proud moment for me and my family and um, again spent so many I think it was three or four years there yeah. Yeah. Um, met some great players with some great players unbelievable coaches um, so that was a massive part of my development. Is there a coach that sticks in your mind? From Chelsea, I think I've 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 just thought about Chelsea, my yeah. manager there, and I think uh, Michael Bill, the yeah. Rangers manager. Yeah, yeah. he was um, at QPR for a bit. Yeah, he? yeah. he's yeah. done really well now, isn't he? coach, probably for the most influential on mm. me at a young age. Um, even now, like he's always someone I can pick up the phone and speak to and yeah, that's brilliant. ask for his advice. Just tactically unbelievable. Like he, I think at a young age, even now, like I just always stuck with me. You got to enjoy your football, and he. 100%. He, he brought the best out of me in that sense, just it stuck with me, just always playing with a smile on my face and that's how you get the best out of anyone. So really, is, there, is there a few of the lads that are here now that you've played with previously? Like, um, yeah, so I played with uh, def uh, George and T from Chelsea. Yeah. yeah. Um, obviously, grown up, uh, T's the same age as me, George is slightly younger, but we used to go away on tournaments together, Gosh. so two top players there. And um, I've played against quite a few of the lads, like um, against them over the years yeah. um, from different teams. But yeah, no, them two I've grown up with really. So it's, it's mad how football works. Such a it's small crazy, world, you know. It's like, good though to have a couple of people that yeah, you know when you come into yeah, a club. Definitely. It just helps you ease in them. Yeah, definitely. But the group as a whole, I think, you know, like it's quite special this year. We feel like we've yeah. got a really good bond already. Even the new players gel so quickly. I've, yeah. I've not been here long, but it feels like I've been here ages. It is a really good group. It yeah. feels different to what it has done. Mm. some of the years we've worked here yeah. Yeah. already like within if anything the game getting called off Saturday could could have done us the world yeah, of good because yeah. even just like dokes singing in the changing room yeah, stuff yeah. like that it's just giving the team more I time think, to jab I think so. culturally like the, the staff the manager and yeah. the hats and all this stuff it's so a great balance on, I think they're so big on like the culture yeah. as well like yeah. we're all in this together and I, yeah. think. Which, I mean from our point of view we've been here nearly five years yeah. and we've seen all the elements of it mm. and that's something that's been missing for a couple of years, mm. I feel. Yeah. Um, we had it before, and that bared fruits with a promotion yeah. and winning the league and everything else. And I feel like that kind of fell away a little bit. Yeah, yeah. And then Even it's with been a um, bit lost. Beversbrook, though, you wouldn't have seen it, but the big room that we're obviously in now, there used to be a divide, a wooden divide that just split the two rooms off. Mm. So you had staff in yeah. one and players yeah. in the other. But yeah. like the first day they come in, they were just like, no, we're keeping it yeah, all open. Opened yeah. it all just out. little stuff like that. Yeah. And, 
that like now in the training round we've got pictures everywhere and it's yeah. starting to feel a bit more like a home yeah, there. Yeah, definitely. Um, and yeah, as the home games come along and you get a bit more connection with the fans, it's going to be a good it's, thing. Yeah, it's going to be good. Yeah, and I think Saturday it just showed a real togetherness. Yeah. Not just the players, but yeah, the staff fans. and yeah, the guys that travelled, which is unbelievable. Yeah. Well, anyone that knows football knows probably the fans are the biggest part of any yeah. football yeah, club. You, know, exactly you, that. you don't you operate don't, day to day without yeah, the fans. You don't have you don't have the fans on side, and you don't show how much their support means to yeah. all of us. Then you've got no chance. So yeah. Obviously, after the disappointment of being called off, that's the least we could do. Go over there and thank them for their yeah. support, 100%. and because we know we're going to need them throughout the season. But this is what um, has kind of we've been saying it like since the summer since we come back there seems like a real togetherness and desire to work hard yeah and fans love that yeah. i mean we're both fans before we were doing this job we were both going to every game like yeah you know um and what you want to see is your players working hard showing a passion for it yeah. wanting to win you know and even if maybe the performance isn't the best or whatever you want to see your people giving everything yeah. and i feel like we've got that in abundance yeah. in this group yeah. so Hopefully, that bears yeah. some fruits. And yeah, so obviously, you joined West Ham at 17. Mm. Um, when did your first loan move come about then? Um, so it was actually the COVID year. Yeah. So um, I went to Stevenage. Yeah. Um, what league were they, were they in? League, league two, two, yeah. Um, and then I think I played, ended up only playing eight games or something. Because yeah. then it got cut short because we all went right. back into lockdown and stuff like that. But yeah. that, was, that was a really good experience, I think. He was the time. manager then? Uh, Graham Wesley. Yeah, so it was a massive experience for me that first yeah. loan I think for any players probably the most influential I'd say yeah. that yeah. just that there's so many 23s and stuff and football you can play but there's nothing that's yeah. like men's football you know? how old would you have been then I think I was I reckon I was 19 yeah maybe 18 yeah how do you know 24 that's a good age then to, yeah. to get it was a good age. like I, I think I would have liked to have some professional games before that yeah but you're ready when you're ready, do you know what yeah. I mean? And then that, that, was, that was when I felt I was ready to go out alone and the club felt I was ready to go out alone. So no, it was a great experience and I wish I got a few more games at that time, but um, that was my first bedding into professional football. So obviously then you went back to West Ham that summer. Yeah. Um, then what happened the next season for you? And then I went to Blackpool. That was yeah. when I went to, so that was my, I'd say, well, Steve was my first loan, but Blackpool yeah. was my first. Full season. League one. My first, yeah, that was League One, first time. We were in League One, not yet. Yeah. And obviously Jerry was uh Keshi. Keshi, Keshi yeah. was uh Um Yeah, no, it was a, yes. we had a really good group to be fair. And you were Hamilton? saying just before we, Yeah, CJ Hamilton, yeah. Yeah. You were saying just before when you played Liverpool at Anfield, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, that was unbelievable. Yeah. Got my knee shirt after the game, yeah. ran over to him. I think Loved it was that. about ninety second minute and I've said to the ref how long left. Shock you got Mane. So. Yeah, I was ran, I was playing on the opposite wing and I sprinted over <laughs> to make sure I was near Mane. Yeah. Got his shirt straight after, that was brilliant. It's a good one to get. Here's that. a quick question for you, Mane or Bell? Oh. Mane. Yeah. My guy. Right. Are you Bale? <laughs> yeah, I'm Bale. Are you? Yeah, this debate's been going on oh, for ages. He's still bringing it up. It's a tough debate, well, but yeah. I think in their prime, Mane. Mm. Spit thing. Enough. Everyone's top, open to their opinion, players, I get. Um, so you obviously ended up getting promoted. Did you get so I I joined Orient in the January, oh, okay. and then they got promoted in. Uh, um, but to be fair, that was Critch, uh, Critch was and He invited me to all the um, promotion yeah. party oh, really? and stuff. Oh, so that was really okay. nice of him. So that's that was really good. Um, but yeah, that was my first proper loan, and yeah. I learned so much the first time living away from home. Yeah, um, I lived by it's myself. A long way up yeah, as well. Long way, so. <laughs> So much you learn in a yeah. short space of time. So that was my, that was a great experience. Yeah. Um, so yeah. So you obviously went back in January then, and then yeah. you obviously went to Orient. Yeah, so I, I signed for Orient in the January and uh, that was my first permanent move away from West Ham. How was Orient for you? Yeah. Because we've been, every time we've been there, yeah. like it's one of our favourite clubs yeah. to go to. Yeah. Just obviously Adia the kit man. Yeah. Like, <laughs> we've met him loads of times. He's legend. A legend. 35 um, years. Yeah, yeah. unbelievable. And oh. you know, all their staff seem to be yeah. top notch there. It no, seems like a proper good club from the outside looking. It's a at. great club orient. Um, I think it's really well run right from yeah. the chairman. It's yeah. Really good. Um, they've had, no, they've for a number of years had the plan in place that yeah. this is what they want. They want promotion. They've got this plan in place that how they're going to get there and yeah. recruited really well. And obviously, you know, uh, Wellens, yeah. brilliant manager. Yeah, we know yeah, we really well. It seems yeah. like a great fit for, for yeah. them and for obviously the club, what yeah. they've done already. 
Um, brilliant club. I love my time there. And Martin yeah. Ling's works. Yeah, got Link, to be Link, yeah. mentioned as well because obviously legend. another person that's job. massive legend at this yeah. club yeah. from the Premier League days. So. 100%. We're right. going to do something a little bit different now, and we're going to break up the conversation with some quick fire questions. Mm. Brilliant. All right. So first one, just any kits, home away or third. Which do you prefer? Home. Home. Yeah. You prefer a home kit. Always, love yeah. that. This year, Swindon kits, home or away. Home. Home, you prefer yeah, the red over the over the blue. I think I don't know. I just I just like I just love playing at home. I, I don't mind playing away, but yeah. I just think there's something about wearing your home kit. Yeah, when love you're that. playing at home, do you know Great. what I mean? There's something. And if you're a Swindon player and you're wearing red, yeah, it means. But something. the blue it is lovely. It's, lovely. Mm. it's really nice. Uh, molds or studs? Um, I prefer wearing molds, but here you can't get away with molds all season. So no. it's, you will wear studs, but for me personally, molds. Yeah. Colourful boot. Always oh, colourful. Dark boot, colourful yeah, boot. You've got the pink ones at the yeah, moment. Yeah, pink ones at the yeah. moment. Yeah. Can't get more colourful. No, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say Nike or Adidas, but... I've always been Nike. Always, always been Nike. yeah. Yeah, from about 14. I started... Um, I signed with Nike when I was 14, so... Um, That's mad that they're signing yeah. kids at 14. And then... Um, it's incredible. I've been with them ever since. I wore Adidas, but it was a funny story, actually. So my fit, feet weren't big enough to wear proper boots, obviously. Oh, so okay. I, right, and up until like a quite old age. What size are you now? I'm only seven now. But yeah. when I was younger I used to wear like the F tens. Remember yeah. them? Yeah. And, yeah. They, and obviously everyone else was wearing the F fifties. Yeah. But the F tens <laughs> were like this the sticky material. Yeah. So sometimes yeah. when I used to wear a fresh pair of F tens, I'd be slipping over the ball because the ball gets stuck to my, my boots and I'd be slipping over in the middle of the pitch. Yeah. So I, before I had to go out I used to have to drench my boots in that water. Yeah. So that they didn't stick to the have you got yeah. any weird superstitions now or? Um, not really. Anything you do, like uh, training day or match day, anything? I always have the same routine like um, on the match day, yeah. like the night before the game. Like, yeah. I think you see little things that I do around yeah. the place, like, um, like an ice bath, you know. Like yeah. an ice bath, 12 minute day, ice bath yeah. the day before. Crazy. Day. Um, That's mad. Little things like that, or like. Don't get uh, me in F12 seconds. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, but nothing in that, not really superstitious too much, yeah. just try to keep food and stuff the same. Have like. you seen any weird superstitions down the years from anyone um, that stand out to you? Not really. There was a couple of lads that I played with like they can't touch the ball in the change room so obviously you're firing the ball at them and they're yeah, like, yeah, jumping yeah, out sure. the way legs are. Um, <laughs> That's mad. Some, there was one, I had one, a, a weird one at Orient where I had to be the last out but yeah. there was me and this other lad that Wanted to be last out, so <laughs> you're like this. He'd nip to the toilet, no, no, to the no, toilet for one last, like, yeah. to go to the toilet quick, and I'd go in there, we'd both be like waiting, like, going back in, so I had to nip that in the bud because I was like, this can't happen. Yeah, like, we'll just wait. Yeah, we'll never get out. The whole, so. Everyone's waiting for yeah, you. So we've that seen one, some weird that, ones. Yeah. Some the weirdest one we've seen, you were just saying about putting water, hot water on mm. your boots, that weirdest one we've seen was Carl Bennett when he was here. He used to put hot water in his boots. But not the ones he was wearing, and then just leave them there all game. But he didn't wear the boots. Water in so they'd, he they'd be sat wore... in the corner of the kit room there. <laughs> oh, just leave them there. Yeah, he'd, he'd put boiling water in him. He'd bring him in. He'd <laughs> yeah. put them there under the fire extinguisher, mm. and that be it. He'd yeah. leave them there. But he'd have and to. Then go and play in different yeah. boots. And then after the game, he'd come and get them warm back, and then hang them back up. But like, say he came in at half time and they weren't there. He'd... Or no well, we just had to leave. Yeah, we didn't. We didn't touch them. No one touch them. No. I mean, maybe he did come and look, but. If we had a take of them, he might have lost his head. I don't know. He might have done, but we just left him and then he'd yeah. come after the game. Yeah, I've never had anything like that. That is weird. That's weird. Weird. Um, a bit of work for him. Yeah. So, um, obviously, you had your time at Orient. What, what happened after that then? So, so after, obviously, um, going back to Lingy, by the way, Liz. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Martin Ling, what a guy. Yeah, he legend. brought me to Orient, so I'll he was obviously grateful. A, he's obviously a son in town. Oh, yeah, well, yeah so. absolutely. Lovely guy and yeah. really, really grateful to him. But... No, uh, after Orient, um, I was there for around, I think it was about 18 months. Yeah. And then I got um, uh, in stress from MK. And my old manager, um, Liam Manning, brought me there. Yeah. Um, so I joined there in the, it wasn't the, I think I might have only been there for a year. So it was the following je January. Yeah. Um, signed there. And um, yeah, it was an interesting one. So I've still, I've, I've been there just over a year and a half now. And just, for whatever reason, hasn't really worked out for myself or the club. Um, nothing against anyone at the club, yeah. but just maybe due to chop and change in the managers. So I've had maybe three managers in my yeah. time there now. It's difficult. Um, so, you, so were you there that second half of the season when they got to the playoffs? Yeah, so the first year I joined was brilliant, really. Um, the six months we 
missed out on automatic promotion yeah. by yeah. one point. So you against, were there with Tiny. Yeah, yeah, when he scored those, yeah. he what scored four goals. Yeah. Wasn't yeah. It? yeah, unbelievable. I think after his fourth one, I jumped on his back. I was like, this guy. Like, yeah. How good was he? Oh, How good um, is he? That season, right. I think he was, he probably talked about it on there. Yeah, his goal involvement. Like, just, yeah. He was just in a, in a rhythm of yeah. just scoring. But like, we used to, I don't know if he did it at MK, but at the end of training, mm. he'd take a bag of 10. Yeah. And he'd just be... No, yeah. Bosh, bosh. Yeah, a free kick's like a penalty for him. We yeah. would just stand yeah. behind the goal. Yeah. And we'd get one in ten. Yeah. yeah. And the rest of them were in the yeah. top ends. Yeah. And we were just like, That's twice. Like, I think like, it, it seems that like he's just got unbelievable. He has. He's got unbelievable. T- that's not his only good part oh. of his game, but that's yeah. that's his unbelievable talent. But yeah. it's not just down to quality, you know, he works it. Oh, you know, people don't see that honestly. necessarily how much he's out there Because he was here for in. what, as a pro? Three years, two years, three yeah, years? something like that. And he was working so yeah. hard yeah. every day. Yeah. And he went on loan to Chippenham. Yeah. And he come back, and then he, we, yeah. had, I mean, we were winning the league. Yeah. We had an unbelievable squad. Yeah. He goes on to patient, Newport, yeah. you know, and tears it up there in the first yeah. half of the season. Obviously, yeah. Richie's then gone to Salford. New managers come in, yeah. and he's doing so well, yeah. and we're not. With yeah. Flinney, actually, yeah. Yeah, yeah he was with Flinney, yeah. and then we pulled him back. And second half of the season, he nearly saved us. Yeah, yeah. like because he was just yeah, playing every game, assists, goals, the lot. Yeah, even on the last day. Yeah. yeah. We've beaten Wigan away. He yeah. scored two unbelievable goals. Yeah. Right. Who else was at MK with you? Kessler Hayden? Yeah, to be, fair, that's a, to be fair, that season that I joined was probably one of the best squads I've been involved in. Yeah. Like that. Harry to Darling. Get so Harry Darling, they're all, David Kasumu. They're pretty much all playing at a higher yeah. level now. Troy Parrott, um, Scott Twine, obviously. Yeah. So many good players. Connor Coventry. Yeah. Um, and then just narrowly missing out. Narrowly missing out was gutting. Against but Wickham, wasn't it? It yeah, kills that. you though, doesn't it, if you just miss out? Yeah. Because then all of your top players yeah, get interest yeah. in the league. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we had the same, when we obviously played Port Vale, we had yeah. exactly the same thing, yeah. same year. Yeah. Obviously yeah. just in the league below. We lose on penalties yeah. and then all your yeah. big hitters. And we were so close. And get dragged like, away. I think sometimes when you, you do see it, when you get that close, yeah. obviously no one expected what happens to yeah. get relegated. Of course. But when you miss out so much, you feel like that's your time, you know, and it's yeah. difficult. To it usually, it usually happens that. the next year that you either, not yeah. every team obviously gets relegated, yeah. but you either don't do as well as you did or you get well, sucked some, down to the bottom. Sometimes you see the teams that almost get relegated yeah. the next season, they're in and around promotion. Yeah. You know, yeah. Like, it's just like, well, yeah. well happened, last but, season, League Two, yeah. Stevenage. Yeah. yeah. Everybody tipped them to go down. Yeah. Yeah. And they There's always one team, yeah. isn't there? They're, they're either that you don't expect to be down or you don't expect to be up there. Yeah. Yeah, no. and now that's led you on to be here. So well, yeah. you went on loan, didn't you? Yeah, oh, of course you did. To Hartlepool. Yeah, yeah. and, and we... you played in a game last season. <laughs> what game? The game where we're one 0 up. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And then you guys come back and score yeah. two. And yeah. yeah, last five that minutes. That was from nowhere, wasn't it? Do you know though? We're sat there, and when the first goal went in, I've looked at him and yeah. he yeah. said, we've gone on." We just went last it then. Yeah, here we go. Because we were in a rut there where. We were on a that run there, to be fair. We, we were something like seven, eight unbeaten. And obviously, yeah, that was... After that game, we were we were like looking at it thinking they might stay up here. Because yeah. Yeah. I think, I, I, correct, I don't know if they did or not, but I'm pretty sure Crawley lost that day or something. Yeah. yeah and then it was so. It came yeah. down to Quite us against close. Crawley. And yeah. It, yeah. We lost, but... Yeah, they come to your place, didn't yeah. they? Yeah. But that was... That, was, that spell was unbelievable, was really. Game. That was an ever um, up north move for you, like living yeah. up there. Yeah, no, that was so far... From where I'm from, obviously miles away, but that experience was incredible. Yeah. The fans are unbelievable there. Yeah, yeah, that game. Yeah, to, I mean, even when we're there's that there section up, isn't there on the yeah. far right as you come out the tunnel. Down. Yeah, and the fans were just consistently yeah. going yeah. for it. Yeah, no, they've like you're they were near like the bottom of the league. Yeah. Like you're bottom of the league. You're and getting then, beat. Yeah, incredible. And it's smashing down the rain, and they were still just absolutely on yeah. it. it we incredible. played uh, Bradford, and they brought they packed up the whole away section, and we yeah. were. Still, like quite far off yeah. it. Then that was unbelievable. Mm. We we drew that day, but no, that was that was a really passionate came, part of the country, yeah, football wise. Yeah, when it was like New Sunderland, and everything and there. Newcastle. Yeah. That was a big eye opener there. Like football is everything there. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, but yeah, no, that that loan spell actually was brilliant for me. I couldn't yeah. have come at a better time. Really, um, I needed to go and play games, and it went brilliantly. I think playing nineteen games, um, good amount of goals and stuff, and yeah. It was a brilliant platform for me to just go and enjoy football again and yeah. show everyone what I can do. So I was I was really grateful for that. There's a lot of stuff packed into by the age of 24. Yeah, you've had yeah, a lot of nice. experiences in, yeah, in yeah. different leagues yeah, and yeah. 
and obviously at a younger age as well at top top academies. Mm. So you've had it all really, haven't you? Yeah, no, I think a bit of blend of everything. Um, I think now it's probably we're in a stage in my career where I feel like I know exactly the player I am. Yeah. I know exactly what I'm good at. And yeah. I think growing up as a professional, sometimes you, you're trying to work that out whilst also taking on so much information and stuff. But I think at the age I'm at now and the experience I've had from all them different experiences, I think it stood me into great stead for now yeah. like going forward. Yeah. Now, to be fair, like just from watching training, obviously we've watched you in the games as well so far. I've not seen too many players as sharp a finisher as you. Mm. Like even in the five of sides, like maybe not today. Not today. <laughs> no, <laughs> we'll forget about today. <laughs> we'll forget about today. today. <laughs> um, but yeah, apart from today, yeah, um, yeah some of the finishing's been sharp. Yeah, like even like the little finishing drills and then five O's just yeah. finding we've, little. We've been saying it since the day yeah. you walked in, but you remind us so much of Jack yeah. Payne. Oh yeah, yeah. Said play, that's just yeah. like the movement, like how you like, move, yeah. like the finishing. Just, yeah. Um, he even said a, a bit of twining. I actually did just a little bit. Like, yeah. I actually did. I well, said, there was the a joke that MK that we looked like each other yeah. a few times. So. I said just like, like the first day I went. Yeah, little little parts of the technique. Of and, yeah, yeah, yeah. But just your mannerisms as well, like mm. slightly Jack Payne. Yeah. Yeah, which is a good sign. He was. Hey, if you can be a combination of Scott Twining and Jack Payne, you're doing it right. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Let's go boot room. What boots do you wear? What have you got at the moment? So, I've always worn Mercurials. Right. Um, I'm actually a bit guy that they've changed the, the way they make them. Yeah. So, yeah. like before, I don't know if you remember, they're more like leathery sort of. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. there was these, yeah. my favourite ever pair of these, uh, the Mercurials, obviously white, pink, and with a black tick. So okay. They're, so, they're the, uh, the Mercurial bit was all pink, and then there was like a little rectangle cut out that was white yeah i know and with yeah. a black tip they were unreal i've yeah. actually still got a pair fresh but they're six and a half and i have to squeeze in Bit so time. it's got to be one yeah, get the boot stretcher in there yeah i have to get them and but they're my favorite ever boots and yeah no just always worn materials really yeah. apart from my younger days with the f10s yeah, sticky ones, f10s. um f10s but yeah no i've always loved night boots um I've never really thought about changing. You know, like no. some some players you hear, like yeah, some people jump all over. Yeah, them. like one yeah. season Puma, one season. Yeah, because to be fair, does. like Johnny Williams, that obviously was there. He had always worn Adidas. Mm. He had never worn Nike, I don't think. No. And then no. last year he bought Mercurials actually, and he yeah. started wearing them the second half of the season. He's got those Nike Air ones, yeah. the white ones. Yeah. That, um, Murph's got. Yeah. yeah. I seen him in them on Saturday. Yeah. He, he just he just. I looked changed, at him. I was like, it? what? Why are you wearing them? What about you? But, what would be your your Favourite boot or favourite brand? I just nick any boots. I don't oh, pay for boots. Honestly. <laughs> I've bought one pair of boots in five He's years. Never yeah. put, I, I don't think he has bought any. The only pair I bought was Copa Mondiales. Right. £100 or something for Sports Direct. Um, they That's lasted six. a couple of years. Like, yeah. Um, but if I was a... Yeah, I'll just nick other people's That's boots. That's a coach's boot. That's yeah. Honestly, boot. though, he I, just... I, I'll just take anyone's boots. He yeah. just nicks um, anyone's. What about you? Oh, I'm a Nike Premier guy. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, mine have fallen apart at the moment, yeah. but I love them. If I was a player, track. though, it'd be Tiempo for me, I think. Tiempo, yeah. Centre back, Tiempo. Yeah. Just so the Premier's a class. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. the Premier's a class because they're leather. Yeah. They're just black with the white night tick. They're yeah. like Cantona. If you think of Eric Cantona, yeah. obviously you That's you, is it? You two are a lot younger than <laughs> yeah, me. Yeah, that's you, Cantona. Like growing up, you, you know. So I keep, who I'm talking to are our guests because <laughs> we're doing the live experience and they're sat here ever so quietly watching our show. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so, yeah, night premiers. A couple me. of other things you have. You have you don't wear them in the week, but for match days you wear grip socks, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Is that how come just... Um, just, I don't really know. I just started wearing them in training a bit and yeah. then um, I, I've always wore cut socks. Yeah. So, um, but I find like they have better... They're not as long as some of the socks, you know, like yeah. the human ones yeah, and stuff, they're quite yeah, they... long, whereas these ones don't come up as far mm. on your yeah. legs, so I, I like that feeling in the game. Just, I don't know whether it gives you a bit grip, more yeah. grip, but I just like the feel of them. Yeah. Really. To be fair, I think this is possibly the first year where nobody's worn long socks. Oh, really? Yeah, there's nobody, is there, this year? Yeah. Like, I By think long that... and short, we yeah. mean Puma make a sock that doesn't have a foot. Yeah, yeah. So, they're so footless. It, it is just basically a cuff on the bottom of the foot. So it's almost like a sleeve for your leg. Yeah. yeah. Um, so they wear the sock and then they pull that. Yeah. But yeah, years before, top. I think we've had at least one. I know yeah, a couple of years ago we had about five or six, yeah. but now literally no, no one. one. Mm. No one. You'll wear your own socks or Puma white socks. Yeah. Underneath. Um, yeah. So 
Uh, last thing before we go into the quiz is we need to talk about our sponsors. So you'll see that we put out a couple of months back that we were looking for sponsorship for the pod. Um, Infra 3 have come in as principal sponsor. Um, they're actually with us today watching the show. Big fans. Big fans? Big fans. Big fans. <laughs> Big fans. They're, they're here in kits. So we've got a Swindon shirt, but we've also got That's an AFC Richmond yeah. shirt. From Ted Lasso. What a show that is. First thing I did was like, that's unbelievable. <laughs> and we've seen it. Jonah, have you seen it? I've, I've not watched Ted Lasso, no, sorry. He was about to I'm lie not, there, wasn't yeah. he? No, I've not watched it. He was it. about to see that he's seen it. <laughs> I was going to say yeah. he had seen it, but he I've not watched it. Yeah. Um, Steve keeps on telling me to get on it. But oh my God, it's one of them. So good, like, yeah, it is. But it's so good. Yeah, but, because but if I start watching it and I start telling you about it, you'll just be mate. telling me what happened. I won't. Have I told you what happened when no, you said you you're on season two? No, he didn't spoil it. I just need to, I said we'll talk when you finish. I need to find the time and I think I might get into it. I think you've got the time. You don't have kids or dogs or any of that True, true. So I think you've got the time. Um, we also have a sponsor for the big quiz, yeah. uh, which is Tithe Grove. Yeah. Um, so big shout out to them. And then we have Mad Mash Media, yeah. which is Matt, who does all of our producing and everything else. And he's the main guy that takes what we do, which is very amateur, and makes it look really, really professional. So what you're watching has been edited yeah. by Mad Mash Media main and Matt Edwards. Yeah. He's the camera, 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 camera. camera. <laughs> Unbelievable. Matt. Unbelievable. <laughs> So, is it time for the quiz? Yeah. yeah. I'm Quizmaster. Jonah against Kempy. Good luck, mate. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I need to unlock this. Remember, uh, we, the we weren't very successful last year. So, so how should... does this work? Is it like so? Buzz in or yeah, buzz bu in. So just say your name. Right. Um, I always put my hand up by accident. I don't know why. Yeah, I say um, shout your name, then he puts his hand up. Yeah. So just right, first one to say your name gets to answer. I've got it. Well, we've got seven today, questions. Rather than yeah. a piece of paper. Oh. We've got six questions, but there's lots yeah. of areas that you can get. Is this points. fair, though? Is this, the, is, this, <laughs> is this set up for him to win? It's never set up for him to right. win. Usually mm. it's set up for him to lose. Oh, OK. Because he stitched me up a couple of times. <laughs> right. Question number one. We beat Plymouth 3-1 in pre-season. Who scored the goals and in what order? Jonah. Oh. oh um, no, you can't wait. No, no, time for You can't shout your name and then wait. Go on. Kempy. Yeah. Um. Uh, <laughs> Matt, what are we saying? He's he disqualified, surely. It's got to be, isn't it? Kempy, rush, wake it. Yeah, but you've just taken <laughs> yeah, five minutes. Yeah, yeah, that's debatable. I'll let you have that one. Yeah, we'll let him have that one. Okay, 1-0 to Jonah. Matt's going to um, keep score. Any ums? Yeah, now. any ums, any hesitation. Yeah, you cut me off by, go, like, I said my name and you didn't let me... What? No, you meant to think about it before you shout right, your name. Right. You can't just shout yeah. your name and then think about the answer. That now works. <laughs> okay, question number two. According to transfermarket.com, how many career goals has Dan Kemp scored? Dan. Go on. Uh, was it closest to? No. I've exact got to get number. It. How many goals have you scored? Oh, I don't know Is that exactly. Maybe like 25? I pass it over. 34. He's closer. Do we give him the point for being closer? Dan, no. 37. No, you can't just keep going back and forth, <laughs> shouting out numbers. Well, someone's got to get it. You scored 43, mate. Oh, wow. All right. I thought you, you scored 25. 25. Yeah. You've forgotten I'll nearly that, 20 then. goals. I'll that's, get that. That's miles off. Yeah, that was miles off. Miles off. So no points. So still 1 0. Question number that's three. That's bad, isn't it? That was miles that's off. Fourth, <laughs> yeah. Miles off. Absolutely. I can't believe you were so far off. What's that? 17 goals? 18 goals off? Is that training goals as well? No, is that that's goals. All right, all right, I'll take that then. Incredible. Okay. Last Saturday's game at Colchester was the first opening day fixture in the history of the EFL to be postponed due to the weather. According to official SDFC Twitter feed, at exactly what time was the game called off? Dan. Go on. For uh, 2.28. Incorrect. I pass it over. Um, 2.40. Incorrect. We'll go again. Go on. Dan, 2.35. Incorrect. 2.38. 2.38. Oh. 2-0 to Joe. I knew it was around 2.40 because I remember seeing the 20, like the yeah. 20 minutes to go. Yeah. They got the, all they day. Got, yeah. So all day so people have been talking about Saturday. Two minutes That's mad. Off. Yeah. That's crazy. All day people have been talking about Saturday. And talking about when it was called off, and it, 
I've been so careful all day not to say the exact time that it was called off. And I've been saying things like, I was called off so close before, or less than half an hour. I've just not been saying the exact time because I was conscious that this would be a question. All right. So how many questions have we got left? Uh, it's 2-0 to Jonah. We've but had three. there's there's loads of points in the next question. I'll let you add it. You'll get quick start. So how this works, it's called starting eleven. So we're going back to the Hartlepool Swindon game from last season. Oh yeah, I've got this. And from either team, you can choose a player. So you're winning, so you'll go first. Yeah. You pick a player that played in the game. And then it goes across to him. First and he picks one to not now. No, yeah, who, if you get it right, you get a point. Right. Okay, so Matt's going to have to get on the counting. All right. Surely I should do better than you at this. Or well, I don't know. We were all there. Good. so uh, I'll be all right. And he's quite good. Because we can just go swing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but, yeah, but then, gonna then it's going to get... I then might throw a spanner in the works and just... And then, just yeah, and if you pick a swing one, then he's... If it gets Or if he picks a Hartlepool one, then it becomes interesting, doesn't it? So... It's got to be starting 11 first and then we'll go okay, on to cool. subs if we need it. Okay, if you get it wrong, you're done. Right. Kemper, you go first. Dan Kemp. Dan Kemp, good. Sol Bren. Sol Bren. Uh, Connor Jennings. Connor Jennings did play. Mo Silla. Mo Silla <laughs> did play. <laughs> George McEachran. George McEachran played. Uh, Romeo Hutton. Yes. Sads. Yes. Joe Tomlinson. Yes. Oh, uh, Rush. Ever yes. Um, Sads. I've said that. You've already oh. said Sads. Point. He's out. Yes. So how many, what are we on now, Matt? What's the scores? Five, six. Five, six. You're only one behind now. Oh, so we keep going with the team? Or is that it? No, 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 that's it. That's oh, that round done. Oh, I was going to get so many more points off of That's you, that yeah. round done, because he's out. I can't yeah. believe he says right. that. That was silly. But there you go. Why not it's just say, like, Charlie or... Can we let them do a bonus point? If you want. And just say who was left in the Swindon team. All right, team? if you can name the rest of it. the Swindon team, you I'll get, get a, bonus a bonus point. point. Can you tell me the ones we've had? We've had Solbrin, Joe Tomlinson, Hutt, Sads, George and Rush. So there's... How many so you've had six. Okay. Charlie Austin? Charlie Austin. Defenders. Marcel Lavinia. No. That's so it. that's your bonus point. Gone, he was on the bench. Who was the other one? The rest of the Swindon team. Fraser Blake Tracy, Tom mm. Brewitt, uh, Johnny Williams, Tyree Shade. Oh, and obviously Charles. Charles. still here. I should have got that, really. Johnny Williams? That's poor Johnny, How me. did you need that? that is to get I don't know why he said sad. I would have been nice said sads because he had already said sads. You weren't paying attention, Joe. You've let me back in. Let him back in. Two one. Go. Six five. Oh what? Oh yeah. well, yeah, because it's all of that. Oh yeah. All right, got you. Yeah. So you just okay. said it was six yeah, yeah. five. I got it. Yeah, still the same. Yeah, difference. still yeah. the same difference. Okay. <laughs> Current Swindon player. Name the player. Jonah loves these ones. I'll say his clubs. When you think you know it, shout your name. Say yeah, the player. Is, like if you get it wrong, it goes across to the other yeah. person to get it. AFC filed. Morecambe. Dan. Tom Brewitt. Oh, I knew oh, that. God. Get it. He's got it. As soon as he says Morecambe, I knew it. I'm just Tom like... Brewitt. Great the other knowledge. teams: Tacoma Defiance, Hartford Athletic, Swindon. Good job. I knew he played for Morecambe. How did I you know that? I don't know. I think. Where was Middlesbrough in that? Then? Well, that was his youth career, mate. We're talking about his professional career. Right. That's good knowledge for me. Yeah. It? Very good from you. So what is it? Six six. Going into the final question. Wow. Oh, this is brilliant. Yeah, because now is... it'll be whoever it's gets one wrong. for you, isn't it? Now. Because right. you got the six six. You got the. It's on the last one. Well, that's... <laughs> <laughs> it's not fixed. Like, do you know what I mean? Is that <laughs> yeah, that's good, isn't it? Didn't that, make... that means there's something on the last question. Cheers. We're going to play Cheers, a game Jonah. of. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it'd be buzzing because they're like, oh, that was a good quiz because they got the down to the last question. And... Well, what's wrong with that? No, I don't mind. Oh, is it not last week a good quiz, right? <laughs> what's up? Fair play. Um, we're going to play a game of higher or lower. Right. So, appearances. Yeah. All right. I'll give you the first one. Who's going to go first? Because no one's winning now. 
Oh, rock, paper, scissors. Good idea, Matt. All right. On shoot, yeah? Rock, yeah. paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper. Why are you waiting? <laughs> God, here we He's go. cheating. Oh, standard Jonah. Rock, cheating on a quiz. Paper, scissors, shoot. Why is your thumb? No, it's not a Why is that? Thumbs up. We're going to get out. Why is that? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Yes. I'll go first. You go first. Okay. I'll give you the first one. I don't know. What is that? <laughs> what is that? Honestly. I don't know what I was doing. It cheers, Matt. Yeah. I tell you, who oh was it that God. used to, oh, Lee Camp, yeah. used to take the mic out of you for your thumbs up? Because <laughs> anyone he, every time said anything like that. Thumbs up. Um, right, I'll give you the first one, and you, then I'll give you the name of the next player, and you have to guess whether he's made more appearances or less. Okay. Okay? For? For Swindon. Right, for Swindon. If you get it right, you get to keep going. If you get it wrong, it goes across. And then it's how many we get right, whoever wins. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Could be in trouble. Until I get to the end of my list. Yeah. And we'll see who's got the most points. Because I'm going to run out quickly. Right. Um, the first one's Charlie Austin, 85 appearances for Swindon. All right. So, the next player, Fraser Blake Tracy, more or less? More. More than Chaz? I don't know how long he's been here. Less. Uh, oh, brilliant. <laughs> what, are we what are we taking there? Less. I didn't lock it in. <laughs> no. He didn't lock in his got final final answer. Answer. final answer. Next one. Next say one. final answer. Yeah, so less. less. 34. That was right. Romeo Hutton, more or less? Then 34. Yeah. More. More. 47. He played pretty much every game, didn't he, last season? Okay, here's one. Tom Clayton, more or less? Mm. Less. Less, 34. He's running away with it, Jonah. Jacob Wakeley. What, am I, am I allowed to be... Am I... No. Oh, oh Until he gets one wrong. Right? And then it goes across. I can say Jacob Wakeley. More or less. Less. Incorrect. So it goes across to Jonah. It, how many do you think... How long has Wakey been here, then? Just one season. Oh. But how he's many? played more than 34. All right. So you get that point because he got it wrong. So what are we on, Matt? We got three right there. Right, okay. So what's he on? On top of what you are Yeah, so that's nine, six, yeah? Right. You right. won't get four right to win. But Yeah, so you get the point for him getting it wrong for it yeah. going across to you. All right, so we're now on nine, seven. All right. <laughs> Tyree Shade, has he played more or less than Jacob Wakelin? Jacob Wakelin has played 46. Less. Less, 44. Close. Sads. Less. Less. 37. What are we on now? That's nine We've been sent off about five times. That's nine all. This is the last one. So if you get this right, you win. Yeah. If you get it wrong... Oh, no. It goes back to... You won't get this wrong. Rush. More or less than Sads. Less. Less. 24. Jonah wins. 10-9. Okay, mate. It's important, it. isn't it? Momentum, first game of the season. Exactly <laughs> that. Exactly that. No, um, that was you des that was good knowledge. Deserved it. You should know your players. Really. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah, mean, we've been here. Yeah. You haven't. Yeah. I, mean, I, I thought I did it right there. Yeah. You did do all right. I wasn't thinking first one, Fraser had played more. Yeah, than, a bit controversial, but more than Chaz, who's been here twice. Yeah, that was a bit stupid, actually. Yeah, because obviously. Yeah. Played I'm definitely going to get better for that one, aren't I? Probably. Yeah. yeah for saying that Fraser played more than oh, Chaz. Well. Yeah. And Fraser was only here for part of last season. Yeah, I didn't know how long he'd been here. Fair play to you. Um, it's been a pleasure. No, thank yeah. you. I loved it. Yeah, yeah. mate. Cheers for Had coming on, time. Campy. No, thank yeah. you. No, Jonah, enjoyed, enjoyed it? it? Yep. Good to be back. Enjoyed it, guys? Yeah. yeah <laughs> decent. I like that. Um, if you're interested in a live experience and coming on and sitting on the iconic green sofa that's <laughs> no longer here, but is over there, which I want here, but he wants there, so... Jonah's way or no way. Jonah's way or the highway. Um... <laughs> If you are interested in coming in, get in touch with the club. We've got some big guests coming up um, that you might want to be in here for. We've got George McEachran coming up, which will be another class one because yeah. he's done so much in his career. Yeah. Um, who else we got? we got Rashawn Hepburn Murphy coming up. We've got Murphy Mahoney coming up um, and a couple of others that we're working on that should be eventually yeah. there's one that we've spoken to this week that when that happens because it will happen yeah. it will be incredible so get in touch with the club i can't say who that is yet 
And if you're listening or watching on Friday, get your tickets for tomorrow's game if you haven't already. Yes. Um, first home game crew. Yeah. Let's hope it's a big crowd and get off in the league to a good start. Big three yeah. points. Um, hopefully we'd have done all right at Peterborough this week. What, before? Yeah, because we're filming yeah. before Peterborough. Yeah. So. We haven't mentioned it because yeah. obviously we're filming before it. Looking yeah. forward to that tomorrow. Yeah. Be good. Should be good. First game of the season. Yep. <laughs> Mad at it. It's like the COVID year when we had Chelton in the In the League Cup League the week Cup. before. League yeah. Cup first game. Madness. But yeah. yeah, get your tickets, come and support the lads. I yeah. know they want you here. Um and hopefully you guys want to come and see them. Uh yeah. It's been fun. Yeah. Cheers for coming on, Kempi. No, thank you. Thanks for and having me. And we'll see you next time on Life for Kitman for more fun. Cheers, Cheers guys. guys.